Hello, on behalf of Transparent Fish Fund and Chat Foundation, we wanted to say hello um, to all of our friends and donors of Transparent Fish Fund and Chow Foundation. While this time during the summer we would be having our annual walkathon, because of COVID we were unable to do so. But we did want to send a video update on what's been going on and what we've been up to. I'm sure all of you read from our annual newsletter that we were able to um, issue all of our grants back in April and um, partner with many great organizations around the world. Among these partners, we also had new partners where we were able to support COVID-related projects and those that were victims of COVID. One of the organizations that we partnered with specifically for COVID relief was AALDEF, Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund. AALDEF has repeatedly criticized the use of racialized terms that put Asian Americans at risk for increased hate violence. They've challenged police responses to anti-Asian harassment and have documented incidences of coronavirus related racism. One of the other organizations that we partnered with for COVID relief was San Francisco City Impact, an organization that provides hunger relief and education, specifically COVID-19, emergency feeding and summer school. We provided a $71,000 grant to SF City Impact, where the funding was used to support food, prep, supplies, distribution and staffing. By partnering with San Francisco City Impact, we were able to feed 500 people a day for eight weeks during this COVID crisis. A third organization that we partnered with was Community Partners International. This organization reaches out to Rohingya refugees. There is an increasing number of COVID-19 cases as there is lack of care, lack of social distancing and space for them. For these 1 million refugees, we were able to provide a grant of $70,000. The three objectives of this grant was to enhance knowledge and awareness about COVID, increase access to and properly equip isolation and treatment centers for them, and increase access to home care for these Rohingya refugees. So I, I wanted to welcome uh, our board and uh, donors. Um, and I wanted to especially thank all of you for your support. Uh, we have really been ramping up our COVID-19 efforts in Myanmar and Bangladesh. It has been extremely challenging and um, none of this work would be possible without your support. Today, I will be giving you an update on the various COVID specific initiatives that we have started here on the ground. This is a bird's eye view of the camp grounds and since the most recent arrival of refugees in 2017, this forest has now transformed into makeshift homes for about 860,000 refugees across 34 camps. These 34 camps cover just a 10 square mile of land. Families, as many as 12 individuals, often share one single shelter and a single toilet or bathing facility can be shared by over 900 people. Currently in Bangladesh, there are over 115,000 confirmed cases and over 1,500 deaths. Specifically in the Rohingya refugee camp, there are over 45 confirmed cases and four deaths. Although the number of positive cases in the camps are low at the moment um, due to lack of testing capacity, the, the context of the camps pose numerous challenges uh, to contain the spread of the virus. CPI is helping to build, staff, and equip a 52-bed isolation and treatment facility the WASH volunteers are also supporting the installation of 150 hand washing stations in and around the camp area. Thank you all so much for your time, your support. Thank you for making our work possible. It would not be possible without you. Thank you. 
From the team of Transparent Fish Fund and Chow Foundation, thank you to all of you donors and friends who have generously supported us through the years, and especially during a crucial time like this during COVID, where we're able to support programs like these and continue to provide care and support all around the world. We could not do it without you, so thank you. Thank you. This is Doug. Uh, in this difficult year of pandemic, thanks for all your help and uh, Please stay safe and please, and remember some of the NGOs that are doing great works here. Thank you. Take care and be safe. Amy and I would like to say thank you for your support. Please remember to keep safe and healthy, my friends.